hi dearest how are you doing so today i'm gonna show you how i made this gorgeous fascinator it's so lovely it has various parts to it and you'll be getting to learn every single part of it but before we get into that i would like to say a big thank you to all our subscribers and for those just joining us you are most welcome to the ventcraft channel we hope to say thank you in our next video because we are sure you would click that subscribe button and everyone please do ensure you like comment and share this video last week actually i showed you the first part and which is to mold with the spider net and cinnamon the lovely base of this gorgeous fascinator so if you didn't watch it please do check the description above and the description below okay so the next thing i'm doing now is to cut my um spider net and the measurement i'm using is 20 um 26 inches because I want it to be 13 13 on both sides so I'm gonna be measuring with my chalk 26 inches so keep watching and learning next thing I do is to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it all the way down next thing you do is fold it on its length like so into two equal length and then I'm going to be measuring nine inches so i'm going to be dividing it that actually divides the width into two so i'm going to measure it like so keep watching and learning next thing i do is to take my scissors and i'm going to cut it all the way down so the next step is to take one of the piece and you're going to fold it into two like this in the length. Ensure you're folding it upside down and then on the reverse. So what I'm doing, I'm take, making use of fishing line that is perfect. I think this should be preferred um, than um, your regular thread because it would hide the sewing just in case. But well, it will still hide whichever way you see that will finally hit every single thing in making the bow. So when sewing, you're going to make sure that you're passing it through the material not the holes as much as possible through the material so it forms the bowl very well so i'm going to um this actually first of all is joining the materials together before that we form the bowl so i'm going to be doing running stitches all the way down so keep watching and learning how we make this gorgeous fascinator now just in case you need the various items that was made for this fascinator i would be uploading it in the details as soon as possible if you don't see it please alert me in the comment section below once you're done with that the next thing you're going to do is to knot it and then you're going to turn it inside out so the front is now what you see showing now how you know the front is that one part shines and the other part doesn't shine the shining part is the part that is the front so you're going to do it like this can you see how i made the part that is sewn to be in the midpoint that's what you're going to do you're going to make it in the midpoint now that's why i said finally we're going to hide the sewing but this at least joins it perfectly together so now the next thing you're going to do is take your fishing line and we're going to be doing running stitches to grab the midpoint to form a bow keep watching and learning Now remember in the video where I showed you how to mold with a spider net, I told you that when you use your stiff knight, it helps to keep the shine from falling up, falling off rather. Now we're going to be doing the same, but this aside making the shine not to fall off, is going to make the spider net to be firm, you know, and be able to stand and look gorgeous like a fascinator bow. So that's what I'm doing here. So after I'm done, I'm going to keep it out in the sun to dry. So keep watching and learning 
now i have done the same to the other one and they are both ready and i'm sewing them together like so actually i must make a confession it hasn't fully dried yet but i needed to get this done and put it out so it will dry so if you're not full if it's not fully dry you can do this and after you're done you keep the fascinator out to dry but it dried a bit okay so now i'm joining it together with the same fishing line so keep watching and learning The next thing you want to do is place your fascinator base on your dummy head and then you take the double bows and put on top so you ensure that you're getting it in the, in the position that you want it to be. Once you're sure of where you've gotten it to, do, to be, then you start sewing it in and out of the fascinator base. Remember, when you're taking it from the underneath, take it close so that you don't have uh, markings on the knit and then from the top you can take it big because finally you're going to cover it up so keep watching and then no i don't think i took it up like that no be careful also when you're taking it up it should be close by in a way that is not clear because we didn't really cover up like that just the feathers we used to cover it and soon you will see how we made those lovely feathers that garnished this gorgeous fascinator keep watching and learning Okay, once you're done with that phase, now it's time to make those gorgeous feathers for the fascinator. That's the feather bunch you need with those hat wire and this stemming. I think it's called stemming, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is it's going to take a razor blade. First of all, you pull out the um the wire that is used to hold it. Sorry, that part got missing in transit of recording then you take your razor blade and what is holding these feathers together it's actually a thread so you're going to try to cut the first layer the part that is knotted so you can just start unwinding the thread around the feathers so that's what i'm doing like so see i've gotten some feathers already what i need to make each of those feathers we have two feathers on the this gorgeous fascinator it's um six six feathers each that we need so i'm getting it done what you're going to do is you take the feathers and you fold it like this you bend it now you take the next one and you're going to use the one you folded before to measure and make sure you're folding them at the same length do you understand so if you want it shorter the flower shorter with the feathers you fold it longer do you understand that's saying you have fold it probably in the middle or whatever so this is what i'm doing and i'm going to do it to six pieces for my first feathers and i'll do another six pieces for another feathers to make that lovely feathers for this gorgeous fascinator so once you're done with that the next thing you want to do is take that hat wire now this is a very flexible hat wire i don't know the gauge of this one but it's more flexible than that one i usually put in a small fascinator okay then these are the stamens so i'm going to make use of just three i'm trying to unwind it it comes like this wrapped with that same type of wire that i'm going to use you can actually use a firmer one actually whichever one will go with what you want to do but i made use of the one that is a bit flexible so i'm going to wrap this stamen just around the hat wire and just leave it to come out a bit up you understand just to stick out a bit like that and once i'm done now here you need that flexible hat wire this is those hat wires that i used for um beadwork yeah those beadwork is like it okay no I didn't use the hat wire to wrap it around first of all i used the sorry about that i'm actually doing the voiceover after i have recorded the video for making this so i'm using my um fishing line and then you put the feathers one by one putting it you understand the way it's bent and holding it up on that bent part so i'm going to be um, wrapping it as i put one i wrap i take another one i put like so where is it 
yes like so <laughs> and then i wrap now i'm doing it adjacent like that as you're doing you just keep on by the time you finish you need to arrange it a bit too it wasn't holding up but let me allow you to watch and learn Now, I still have something little that I did concerning these feathers. I would show you that came out after I made the long stem feather. So, don't go off this video. Still stay on so you get to see what more you need to do to these feathers. Okay, so we have our two feather sets to start off with the next process of making our gorgeous fascinator. So the next thing you need to do at this point is we're going to get that same feather bunch and you're going to unwrap it fully like you see me do. Remember I said it's a thread that it's used to hold the feather bunch together. So I'm wrapping it up like so. Keep watching and learning. So I'm going to make use of that same wire that I brought up. But what I did was I sprayed it silver so I don't see any white, um, white because the stock is white. And um, remember this time around the feathers you're making is not going to cover everything. So the stock will be showing the wire rather. So I sprayed it with my car paint, silver car paint spray. And now I'm just taking feathers and wrapping it around using the same thread that i actually got from the bunch so i'm wrapping it like so so keep watching and then just be placing it at the positions you want it you can follow exactly what i did but creativity is the key except the client wants the exact one actually looked with the thread wrapped up in the design and I was thinking what should I do initially I got a bias to wrap around you can see the bias there but mm, it still didn't look the way I wanted it to so I was like okay let me take that hot wire that flexible one that um, is used for beadwork and then wrap it up and I kind of liked how it turned out finally so do let me know what would you have used to hold the, fa the feathers again as in a size the thread to make it look fine let me know in the comment section below keep watching and learning
Okay, so now it's time to attach the this feather stock to our um, fascinator base. And so you see that wire there, I just bent it to form like a hook and then pushed it to the edge, the midpoint where you can see the bowl is. I put it there and I start sewing it on the fascinator base. See, I'm okay. Can you see what I did? La, 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 la. I'm doing it like that. Okay, see, I'm covering it now okay that's the curve you can it's flexible so you can use your hand to form the curve like a hook sort of like the way the earring hook but it closes up so i placed it there and i took my fishing line and started attaching it once i was done with attaching it and i felt it was firm enough it was still a bit flexible so what i did you soon get to see keep watching and learning So I bent the um, feathers, the stock, close to the um, spider net, the one that we sewed on the fascinator base, and I'm sewing it. Can you see me? I'm sewing it on it to hold it up. Do you understand? So that's the trick to get it standing. All right, so keep watching and learning. So we're back to our short feathers as i told you we'll be coming back to it remember okay so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to cut off the excess um wire and antenna that are there like so using my famous hat wire cutter i still have them available by the way if you want to order you can let me know in the comment section below or rather you can just send me a whatsapp message my whatsapp number is in the description of this video then i'm going to use bias with my uhu gum and wrap it up now while you're doing this is so that you'll be able to attach it firmly to your fascinator all right so let me allow you to keep watching and learning now we are set to attach this gorgeous looking feather flowers to our fascinator so we have one at this midpoint here like so and the other one is going to be at the other edge like that uh, making this fascinator look gorgeous i'm sure you saw it, it was popping out in fact really i was flabbergasted by the <laughs> fascinator design if you were flabbergasted do write in capital letter flabbergasted in the comment section below so i'm gonna be sewing it and here i'm gonna tune out my voice and you listen to a uh, light music while you watch how i sew it to the various parts in the fascinator so keep watching and learning are you in the ventcraft academy if you are let me know in the comments section below and you can also write what you have gained so far if you can i would love the review and if you're not in the ventcraft academy what are you waiting for i would like to advise you to join today why 
one aside getting to know the paid classes that i have available and joining in the paid classes to increase your knowledge thereby increasing your wealth you would also get to learn from questions people are asking and the answers that are coming you'd also get to see people's designs people's creativity you would also get to know whenever i place up new videos so you don't miss out on them and much more so I guess I've given you enough reason to check the description of this video and click on the link to join the Venkraft Academic Reception today. Okay, so let's take a break in our sewing of the feathers to the fascinator and we're going to be making a spiral bias cinnamon or cinnamon bias rather so this is a cinnamon bias i'm sure you already know how to make that if you do not know do let me know in the comment section below and to make it spiral i decided to take uh, my kids um um what do you call it non-permanent marker and just wrap it around like so if you want it firmly to stay like that you can get um like uh, an iron and iron it down there but that's not going to be possible so like a steamer actually and just steam it so it will hold it more firmly but i wanted it to loosen up a bit so i just wrapped it like that like so and i need two of them so those are two of them what you need to do is just um take a measurement of how long you want it to be i didn't really measure this so i can't really say the measurement what i did was i had some pieces of um the cinnamon that was left and remember you have to cut it at a bias so i just used that and it gave me the exact size that i needed so back to our sewing i keep quiet keep watching and learning yes and have you been seeing me live i haven't been seeing a lot of you live with me but let me let you know that on fridays 2 p.m i'm up live on youtube and i created this avenue so that you can ask your question live and i would answer you so far we've had i think probably like four or five weeks that we have been live and i've been ask, answering people's questions so either you send me your questions earlier by joining the Ventcraft academy and um, writing your questions there and saying it's for the life you just say for the live video and um or you can comment on this um video here and just say for the live video you would like to and you state your question but i would really love to see you live it's quite fun when i'm chatting with you one and one now it's time to attach the um, cinnamon bias the cold cinnamon bias to your fascinator so keep watching and learning how i did that to get the coily fantastic look on the fascinator Okay, and also I've been thinking concerning the um, the membership of um, YouTube currently. Now, what I have for my YouTube membership is just perks. So if you join the YouTube membership, it's quite cheap. It's just to support the channel every month. And you don't, if you can't continue every month, you can stop it. And it's, it's not expensive. I think it's just $2.99. Two, $2 of which YouTube takes um, say for five percent there about or so. So if you would like to support the channel, you can click on the join button that is beside the subscribe button or subscribe button. And also, if you would want me to upload, if it's going to be easier for you to have um, the videos that I have on the Ventcraft Academy to have it on the YouTube channel in the membership please do let me know so probably i'll create another tier for you so that you can go there and have your videos available also i was just thinking do let me know what more you think i can do in the membership part and thank you so much to all those who have been supporting every month you have been supporting if you don't mind me putting up your um your names do let me know so that next time when i put up the video i would recognize you well i don't know whether you would like that and that's why i haven't done so previously so.
so if you would like a video on how to make various types of um how would i put it thin so to speak as in all these little accessories to make fascinators and um, to attach to turbans with cinnamon like the cones the bias the rose if you would like to have a video on it please do let me know in the comment section below and this is how i made this lovely gorgeous silver fascinator for a client and she was so happy i'm still waiting to get the pictures from her so if you enjoyed this video and you gained value do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed i'm wondering what are you waiting for click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and then check out this next video